the gym. We had to drive uh, cars today. The detail guys are at the shop, and they're in all the big trucks right now going through them. So we drove the two cars, plus it's, uh, it's the first time. I was gonna say, you're glad to be back in your car? Since the ice that I've driven this, I don't drive this a lot. Like, it's fun, but you can only take, you know, two people. Mm -hmm. So to run anywhere with, you know, more than the family, we can't do that, so. They just went flying past us. We weren't driving fast enough for them. Um, went by the building. Plumbers are in there now planning some of their shit, getting their stuff together. They needed to see the faucet sets, which we don't have yet. Um, talk about hot water. We're running the, the biggest gas heater we can get downstairs, which will run the kitchen and the two bathrooms right next to the kitchen with the showers in them. The bathroom in the all the way back has a hot water heater um, back there. And then they, Todd had to plumb it in so that that, those two valves he showed us mm -hmm. we can run hot water out of the big gas out of the big gas heater up front back there should we want to or should that other one go down I don't know what the concern was um, and then we told him put a second hot water heater for upstairs for the kitchen the two bathrooms and the shower and shit upstairs so that'll be on its own system all together as well um, they got the lights in those catwalks, and those are the old fluorescents mm -hmm. uh, with the brighter bulbs, but they're the old style fluorescents, and that's super fucking bright yeah, it in there before in it's there even too. painted. Yep. Those, those lights are very white, so that'll be good. Um, they're going to move all that shit out of there, hopefully today. I wasn't clear on that, and then we can get in there and start moving our shit. Yeah, I think that's what he was saying. Was they would do, you know, I need to get that floor completely emptied and look at it and see what uh, what it needs as far as uh, Some repair. start getting that grid system and shit. Because I want to put that down. We won't we won't put it down until they're done with the build, but I want to start getting that together and getting those pieces, you know, delivered. Other than that, um, they're just putting the walls up. So. Which looks a ton different upstairs, too. Getting that bathroom finally walled out and then putting those walls yeah. on the inside where that little vestibule is entering the offices. I'm used to walking, just walking through the walls when they're framed up. Yeah, seeing up. skeletons. Now you actually have to walk around. Yeah, now it's like a damn maze, like it was when we moved in. Yep, pretty cool. There's a lot of wall in there. There's a lot, I was like, there's a lot of rock right there. I bet if one of those fell out, it would uh, yeah, I feel not it. be good. That's <laughs> some big granite. Or limestone or something. Crush yeah. Using the support <laughs> banks with, probably. Diesel goes further, but beyond that, if you want to tow anything or move anything, the torque ability, availability with the diesel. And then another aspect to look at is preparedness aspect of it. Diesel fuel stores a lot longer than gasoline does. That's what it's also safer to store than gasoline is. Yeah. And that's what the engine longevity is way greater. Mm -hmm. 
because of the way it works. And they so don't rev got, as high, so, yeah, so yeah, the, tractors it, it reaches shit. like top torque at like 1200 RPMs, which is pretty awesome for what you're, you know, like you said, if you're trying to tow or move something. And and look at look at James Hicks's truck. Like we were running, we were running in a straight, and in I was in this with the Panamera. I think mm -hmm. we were in the Panamera. I, I had to come up to 130 to pass him. Yeah. Like that, it, it that, moves. Like when, he, when he gasses it, it pushes you back in the seat. And he's got his tuner on there tuned up. He doesn't have it all the way tuned up. But um, it's awesome, man. Yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty excited to have a diesel. I've never had one before. You got, uh, are you planning on leaving it in stock height, lift it a little bit? What are you thinking? Uh, I probably, I might not lift it. I don't know. Because, you know, my whole thing, like, in reality, with a lift for me, it can become a problem. Because... <laughs> The fact yeah. is, I've got to get in and out of that motherfucker all the time. Dude, there's times, there is times when we're moving heavy shit with the big truck that I'll just put a trailer on because it's easier than trying to get it up in there. Yeah, so. That's why I haven't lifted the excursion up any higher. It's yeah. got bigger wheels on it, bigger tires. Really, I want to run 37s so it matches the other truck, but it's a pain in the ass. Like, if I put it on 37s, even me, Amanda much less, but even me, I can't reach that upper deck. Yeah, that back up. when it comes up, yeah. I'd have to step up on the hitch to, you know, get to it. So I might just do some nice expensive tires and then I want to kind of be able to build it a little bit, you know, some of the stuff that the light bars and the interior and sounds and stuff. Yeah. And whatnot. Just a little stuff. And you run a 40 inch rigid LED. They, they make a mount that goes in your door jam and uh, it's flush mount. So it goes in there, I think it's two or three screws, self tap silicone it and comes up so right on the corners of your a pillars are your mounts so the bar just follows your roof line and they make a curved one now mm -hmm. man you run a 40 inch light bar you won't need nothing else on that thing yeah. it'll be brighter than anything you've ever seen before it's funny because i didn't know anything about light bars even the the with the rigid lights little square ones yeah have. the d2s yeah like i didn't know anything about all those and now like after watching y'all trip like when i'm out I'll see cars that have like a bunch on there and I can tell they're not a good brand, but then I'll see those on stuff and I'm like, oh, he went the extra mile, he got the good lights on his car. Yeah, there's a there's a big difference, man. You run that 40 inch bar, maybe run some D2s up front for center fill and low fill or run like a multi-combo flood mm -hmm. and then cut your rear bumper and run D2s in the back so mm -hmm. you can flip them on. You won't need it. That's, that's more light than you'll ever use. And you can just put some D2s on there. And you having never driven behind a, a full size rigid light bar, mm -hmm. you just put some D2 cubes on there. Yeah. Blow your mind. I was going to say, just driving y'all's excursion that one night, yeah. flipping them on, I was like, holy shit, those are bright. Like, yeah, that doesn't even have big bars mounted. Uh huh. So. That's what I'm he, saying. He's not a short guy either, and he's really wide. Like, I don't know how he sits next when to him. When he told me he had a Cayman, I go, you mean a Cayenne? <laughs> he yeah. said, no, a Cayman. Like, I bet his shoulder, I bet it touches the ear of the person that's sitting in the passenger seat. Yeah. He drives, like, the, you know, all bunched up. I feel like putting Henley in here to drive. Henley's been in here. I had this car completely off the ground. We were in the air with Henley in the passenger seat. <laughs> fucking smile like a kid. Kid got a lollipop. Right. So what color are you getting a black truck? Uh if I can if I can find one that's the for whatever reason that your color like actually dictates kind of what you what you find. You know you may or may not find one that's, that's what when I was when I was talking to Roger over Select Luxury in Atlanta I said uh Man, I think I want to get a four, like a, a, a Scuderia, a Ferrari, like a 430 or something. Mm -hmm. And he said, oh, no problem. And I said, I want black. He said, yeah, no problem. We'll get a black one. And I said, and I want the red thread. He said, now you got me looking for a needle in a haystack. Yeah. He said, I could have you, I could have you a hundred of those cars here tomorrow. Guaranteed tomorrow you're ready to buy. You take your pick of a hundred of them. We'll have it here the next day. He said, but you start, you start looking for red thread. Yeah. 
you up the ante quite a bit. Yeah, you just cut it down to two. In the nation. Okay. Well, they're, they're there. I mean, the Scuderias, they've got carbon fiber, and, and they did them with yellow, or they did them with red. Like, you find a lot of them with the red thread, but I hate that fucking yellow gauge. So now you're really... <laughs> Like, you're better off just buying it and spending the fucking two grand to change that change gauge face. Yeah. yeah. Just send it to a speed shop, somebody that deals in Ferrari, and have them redo it. All right, man. We're almost at the gym here. Go ahead and cut that shit off and we'll get this out.